The future of the entire Qantas fleet of A380s now depends on understanding what went wrong inside one single engine. There's really only very select number of companies that produce the large engines, the large turbofan engines, and Rolls-Royce is up at the top. What a disaster. I've never seen anything like it. Simon Grummet is a materials engineer with the Australian Transport Safety Bureau. Everywhere you looked, there was, there was shrapnel, debris, um, and, and holes in this thing. So it was quite significant, and that was the initial response. And from that point onwards, we knew that this was going to be a big investigation, particularly for the ATSB. The severity of the damage adds pressure to find answers. We knew that we had a turbine disc failure. The next stage was to find out why the turbine disc had actually failed. Investigators take the engine apart, searching for anything that could explain the catastrophic failure of the turbine disc. They discover something disturbing. Oil fire in a Rolls-Royce engine. The inside of the engine is burnt black and covered with soot and oil. The evidence tells Grummet that the fire was fueled by oil. The engine must have suffered an oil leak. Grummet examines the engine further, searching for the source uh -huh. of that leak. Kev, I think we got it. A narrow pipe is snapped off, releasing oil into the area around the turbine disc. The broken part is called a stub pipe. This nearly brought down an A380. Jeez, man. Investigators send what's left of the stub pipe to its manufacturer, Rolls-Royce, where a disturbing discovery is made. One side of the pipe is much thinner than the other. That's what allowed it to break apart, spraying the engine with oil and causing a near catastrophic fire. It's no wonder it cracked. We're only talking, it was 0.35 millimeters in thickness. It's a couple of sheets of paper. Investigators study the manufacturer's report. They learn why one side of the stub pipe was so dangerously thin. It was due to a manufacturing error. The ATSB immediately takes steps to alert other airlines that their A380s are at risk. Just 29 days after the accident, they issue a report warning that a faulty stub pipe caused a fire that led to uncontained engine failure on Qantas 32. They advise airlines to inspect their fleets. There are 20 A380s with the same Rolls-Royce engine in service around the world. 34 engines are found to have suspect oil pipes. As a result of this investigation, all engines that had non-conforming oil feed pipes have been removed from service. Rolls-Royce have made significant changes to their quality management system. They introduced a software program which um, basically removes fuel from the engine in a similar event. 